Yeah, when you see the collection and you see the, the poems that my daughter wrote, Janae, who I was talking to you about, mm -hmm. Janae was 15 when she wrote these poems. 15. And she's 15? No, no, she's 30. Yeah, she's 31. So when you see the paintings and you read her poems, that's where she was at, at 15 years old. So how old are these paintings? 2001, two, oh, three. That one's 2001? This is 2004. Portal of Morals. Nova, N-O-V-A, Nova Color. This is the absolute best uh, acrylic paint for murals I've ever used, ever. I wouldn't use anything else. I mean, I would use house paint for the, you know, the backgrounds, this kind of stuff, but Nova Color, no. Because the colors, are, they're rich. There's a lot of pigment in each color and it goes a long way. So the, the, the blues are really deep and rich, and then the reds, everything is really rich. So when you mix the colors, you get everything that you need uh, when you come out of a dark color going into a light color. So you leave leaving purple and going into lavender, you get really beautiful tones. So that's what Nova Color does. nephew and uh, black people don't understand this my nephew is dark skin okay. my nephew equates dark skin with being ugly so he says he told me he says and he's a part of a collection that's called the beautiful people so he told me that he says the only reason that I painted him was because he's my nephew I said no 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 that's one of the reasons I painted you. But the primary reason is, well, because you're beautiful and you have this beautiful, rich, dark skin. 
and I wanted to show you how beautiful you are, you need to see so you can understand. This is my favorite part of the painting. Is that reflective light right here? This is my favorite part. Um, but he, he has the, Corey still hasn't grown out of thinking that he is, he's ugly. Why do you think that is? Is, is, is there anything that you, that you picked up that? Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, it goes back to that basic white black thing. <laughs> the light skin, dark skin thing. So the light skin, the light skin, uh, you know, I'm no, no, no shit. Okay, so when I was in school, you had to have a light skinned girlfriend to be fly. So red bones, you know, they call them in Florida, red bones. So I, I had a red bone, yellows, all of that. Um, but it wasn't later on, until later on in my life when I started to appreciate darker skinned women. And then it didn't even matter anymore. So, you know, I got to a point where it didn't matter, but I like dark skinned women with like a lot of hair, afros. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. I love that shit. Ooh. Right, it's just, <laughs> I love that. But my, but my nephew, I'm sorry, I keep touching my eyes, but in the morning my eyes swell and this bothers me. And it kind of makes me self-conscious, self-conscious, uh, but I said, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. You got the eyes, right? Yeah, I said, fuck it. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful shirt. Man. Yeah, and uh, uh, I did 12 of these paintings to beautiful people. So when you guys come by, you'll be able to see, you know, the whole collection. Um, Are they all family members? No, it was people that I just met at random, other than him, and well, two other people. Everybody else I met, at, you know, driving down the street or in the parking lot or in a grocery store, and I would just ask them, could I paint them? And then I told them, you know, this is what I'm doing. Come by my studio, and you can see the other paintings. And then. Most people came by, they saw the paintings, and they wanted to be involved. And then so the, and each person has a different name, and I'll tell you about all that later. But uh, one lady, her name is uh, Karen. Karen became the, uh, the Oracle. Yeah, she became the Oracle. You know, the Oracle of Delphi is the one who sees. Okay, so Karen was asking me, she says, so, uh, I'll be in the collection under one condition. And I'm like, what's the condition? She says, well, you be in the collection as well. I said, well, no, 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 no. I don't want to be in the collection because I don't want people to think that I'm saying that I'm beautiful as a, um, you know, as an egotistical thing. She says, no, 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 that's not where it's coming from. I can feel that's not where it's coming from. So she says, if I'm in the collection, you will be in the collection. If you want to paint me, you have to paint yourself. And then I said, okay. So she became the oracle because of what she told me about myself that I wasn't paying attention to. And I became the, um, um, what's the title? The prodigal. prodigal. Yeah, the one who returns. Prodigal. Right, so I returned to myself to accept that I'm beautiful shit. Did, did you not feel that way at that time? No, 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 it's not that I didn't feel that way, it was more ego. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it was more ego and I was, uh, uh, disassembling those, you know, that structure of ego where it could, where it's beneficial as opposed to just, you know, huffing yourself up. And that's the thing, that was, that's what I learned about the beautiful people. Have you done any more beautiful people since? Uh, I did, but I didn't call it that. Okay. The collect, the, what I'm doing right now is the haberdashery series. Um, which is the one with Joshua with the, uh, the yeah. Scottish hat on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I really appreciate that you caught the catch light in, in his eyes. Oh, right. right? Come it's, on, man. I know, right? It's, right. it's, it's technical, you know? Right, 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 it's, it's, it's one on one, but it just really right, brought right. it to life. And, uh, I want to get a close up of that. Really you can see that. And what was his name? This is Corey. Corey. The Messiah. Uh, the Messiah is a warrior. So, you know, I've done a lot of work, and then uh, I didn't, 
sometimes I didn't take it all the way to the end, to the vision that I had for the work in the very beginning. So I didn't take it all the way. So sometimes, you know, it, um, it can be frustrating if you don't finish. If you don't finish what you start, it just it, it becomes, because then you get a backlog of work that you haven't published to the world the way you saw it in your mind from the beginning. And I have some pieces like that, a graphic novel like that. Well, you'll, you'll see it, and then you'll be able to understand and see what I'm talking about. Like, oh, okay. That's why I say with the, um, the, uh, the Elixir Mural, that, that uh, documentary, that has to be done, and there's a coffee table book that goes with it. So. Me and Valerie were discussing your, uh, the universe that you're putting into these images right here, these, mm -hmm. these uh, contours. And we're wondering, um, is this series called The Elixirs with the universe imprinted in inside of people? No, okay. no, no, no. The what? just that pain. Yeah. Gotcha. But what I decided to do is take the Elixir mural uh, blueprint mm -hmm. and use it as my model for my murals for from this point on. Do you have it, is it, is it called anything, that type of style? No, it's just, okay. it's just my style. Gotcha. So from this point on, painting a mural, this effect will be the style that I use, which is completely separate from oil paintings or okay. anything so else. this is your mural style? This is my mural gotcha. style. Gotcha. And I'm gonna keep that. it as this. So when I'm hired by someone, it's like, well, yeah, we love your style. Do that. Yeah. And so they won't have any expectations or anything else. This will be the reference. They can yeah, the they'll know. They already know. Because when you hire um, L. Mack, you know what he does. When you hire Retina, you know what he does. When you hire Shepard Ferry, you know what he does. And he's going to do that thing. And so what I've been doing is modifying what I do with my clients. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to modify it. I'm going to do this as my is my style and this is what I'm gonna do. Um, are you gonna color in this one today? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we're gonna we're gonna trim trim it up, clean it up and Joshua's gonna roll it and then boom Bob's your uncle. Alright that's so good. Ladies and gentlemen look forward to seeing this all colored out today. We got a time lapse so far and these free hands drawing this and uh, instead of projecting it so uh, Patrick Henry Patrick Henry Thomas in the flesh. Johnson Johnson I said my last name. Yeah, I heard I'll edit you. that out. <laughs> I heard Patrick Henry Johnson, my brother. My brother. That's why I called him Thomas. Brother from another mother. There it is. There it is, guys. Patrick Henry Johnson, I apologize to you all. We love you.